Oh, this arrived today. It's the last game I was looking for in the retail collection. It took me over a year to find this, so I'm extremely happy that I finally got it. Still sealed. I found it on a uh, Facebook page of a Canadian game shop. And thankfully they were good enough to send it over to me, you know, internationally. So it's sealed, but it's not going to be sealed for long because we're opening it. There it is. Civilization for the Engage. So it took me over a year to find this. Um, very, very happy that I finally got it. But this video is to look at the collection that I've got of all my Engage stuff, but specifically the 55 retail games that were made. More than 55 Engage games exist, but these are the 55 that were fully released in retail form. So to start with, we're going to look at the Australian games. Um, so this one here is an interesting one. Uh, people consider this to be, to be very rare and expensive because it was only released in Australia, but it wasn't actually that hard to find. Um, it usually sells for a lot on eBay. I got, um, I got this one a bit cheaper because it's missing the manual. But I don't really need that. Uh, so yeah, this one is well known to be rare and expensive, but it's not really that hard to find. Now we'll go through uh, these as quickly as I can and I'll just stop to talk about the kind of more interesting ones. Um, I've got two copies of Sonic N. Uh, one of these, because uh, my brother, this is his old N-gauge that he got in you know, 2005 or something. And so he had Sonic, Pandemonium, and uh, Tony Hawk. So I remember playing the end gauge back then um, with a few of these games. So there's Pandemonium, got two copies of that. Super Monkey Ball, this is really fun. And uh, don't forget, I've got Gameplay videos of every single one of these games, except for Civilization, which I'll make very soon. Uh, it's Tony Hawk. This is one of the most popular of my uh, Engage game videos. Uh, I think the second most popular, and Sonic N is by far the most popular. Puzzle Bubble Versus, Tomb Raider. Um, I, this is the first Tomb Raider I played all the way through, and it's actually really good. Um, I had fun with it. I had to follow a guide through most of the game though, but it's a good game. So those are the Australian ones. Um, I'll just shift these. And then we'll have a look at some of the more interesting ones. So these are the review kits that I've got. So Gold Master Review Kit for uh, Warhammer 40k Glory and Death. So uh, these ones, I've made videos about these as well. They've got a different label on them saying not for sale. And instead of a manual, they have this thing with a CD in it with uh, information about the game, videos and trailers and stuff. I've got videos with the contents of that disc. Got a Goldmaster review kit for System Rush and uh, a media review version of Glimmerati. Next we'll have a look at this pile, which is uh, European versions that have English on the back. So there's Operation Shadow, Glimmerati, that's just the normal retail version, unlike the media review version that we just saw. Splinter Cell, Team Stealth Action, WW Aftershock, Spider-Man 2, 
Uh, virtual Tennis, Conor McRae Rally 2005. This is probably the best racing game on the Engage. I've played it a lot and it's really good. It plays well, runs really good. Uh, the graphics are good and the sound effects and everything. Worms World Party, um, that's a pretty good port from the PC. Runs good. Uh, Crash Nitro Kart, Sims Bustin' Out. Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2004, Pocket Kingdom, FIFA Football 2005, now it's interesting, uh, this is the European version so it says football, the American version says soccer on there instead, Requiem of Hell, Ghost Recon Jungle Storm, and Rayman 3. So those were the European versions with English on them. Now we've got European, uh, European versions with no English on them. So I haven't checked to see exactly what language these ones are, but that's um, one. Kind of a strange title. X-Men Legends. X-Men Legends 2. Asphalt 2, this is one of the harder games to find uh, and also kind of expensive. Call of Duty, King of Fighters Extreme, and Asphalt. Now, uh, these Asphalt games are pretty interesting. They're some of the most graphically impressive games on the system. I'd say almost as good as DS graphics, because these uh, Asphalt games were also released on the DS. Uh, next, these are the German versions. So they've got USK and German on the back. So there's Catan. Pure Pop. MotoGP. And Bomberman. Next, we've got the American or North American versions. So, I think most of these came from Canada, but Civilization, Atari Masterpieces Volume 1, Atari Masterpieces Volume 2. Now, this one is one of the hardest games to find. Uh, I think this was, I think, the second last game I got for the system. Um, I'm not sure why it's so hard to find. It must have been one of the late games, but... Yeah. Um, the Roots, Gates of Chaos. Now, this game is actually really good. I played this one all the way through. It's kind of a little bit like Diablo. Um, it's just a good action RPG. Elder Scrolls Travels Shadow Key. This game is another one of the really good ones. I played through all of this as well. And um, on the Engage emulator stream that I did, I played this on the emulator for an hour, and that runs really much better in the emulator than it does on the original hardware. But that's um, a really good game. So SSX Out of Bounds, MLB Slam, NCAA Football 2004 Ashen uh, This is one of the best first-person shooters on the system It's pretty fun um, I think I played through all of this except with a cheat code so I didn't die There's Rift's Promise of Power and um, this one's interesting because it's signed by the creator of Rift's. I can't remember what his name is at the moment. Um, but yeah, it seems like there must have been an E3 or some uh, event where he was around and signed a whole bunch of copies. Xanadu next. Pathway to Glory. Um, people say that this is one of the best games on the system, but I'm really bad at it. It's like a 
um, turn-based strategy game. Red Faction, Marcel de Sailly Pro Soccer, FIFA Soccer, so there's Soccer and Stud of Football 2004, and Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. And so now these ones here are the last few. I bought these ones from a particular seller in Canada who I couldn't work out exactly but he was involved in Engage somehow and I think may have worked for EA and he told me he went to E3 back in the day and gave me some extra stuff that we'll look at in a minute but we've got high C's um, these are also uh, these two specifically are the two most expensive games I personally paid for. Um, I don't want to say how much, but it was a lot of money. Um, these are, you know, the hardest to find games, uh, you know, among the hardest to find. So, yeah, High Seas, Mile High Pinball, Pathway to Glory, Akusa Islands. So a sequel to Pathway to Glory. And this is the soundtrack CD for System Ratch, which I've got this on my YouTube channel, um, you know, just with all the music. Might also have some of this music playing in the background of this video. So yeah, all that stuff came from that one guy who used to work for EA or something. And because he was so nice and because I gave him so much money, he also sent me a bunch of other interesting stuff. So. There's this air freshener for Payload, which Payload is an N-Gage game that was released, but not in retail form. Um, this is all stuff from E3 over the years. So from what I can tell, it was a late game that was only released digitally, but there are some kind of display cases, kind of like this with Payload on them. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. An air freshener. There's a bunch of stickers with X-Men Legends. Stickers for uh, WW Aftershock. And one's World Party. A big sticker for High Seas. That's pretty nice. A big sticker for Akusa Islands. Um, so this is the kind of display not for sale, uh, things I would put in empty cases just to display the games in shops. Uh, it's got the barcode cluster. So that's for Requiem of Hell. And another not for, uh, display not for sale for Pathway to Glory. Um, I suppose this just would have been given out in shops at the time. That was nice of him to send that stuff as well. Oh, hang on, I forgot this. Um, he sent me this lanyard with Pathway to Glory on it. Pretty normal sort of lanyard. I can't remember exactly where I got, got these lanyards from, but they're also N-Gage lanyards. That one's uh, kind of a thin one and a bigger one and some other things is just the normal engage manual nothing terribly exciting um, now this uh, carry patch thing Last year, a bunch of these turned up in Perth at a second-hand shop for some reason. I don't know how or where they came from, but a bunch of them turned up. Someone told me about them. I couldn't get to the second-hand shop at the time, but then someone must have found them and started listing them on eBay, because there's uh, quite a whole bunch of them getting around now. So, uh, carry case, you can put the system in by the and there's some 
put some game cards and stuff in there. Not sure really why you'd want to carry your phone around in something like that. But I didn't really show them earlier, but I do obviously have both the original N-Gage and the QD. Um, this one's not in the most amazing condition, but it still works very well and I've used it a lot. One other accessory I have is this Bluetooth headphone or earpiece thing. It's very strange. Um, it's just this like Bluetooth receiver with a microphone on it and then this separate really chunky earphone. Uh, it doesn't have a battery in it, so I can't use it, and it's not a normal battery, it's some proprietary thing. So it's completely useless, just interesting that it was an uh, engaged accessory. Um, and now, as I kind of hinted at before, there are other engaged games, but not in retail cases. I have one of those, which is kind of the more common one, which is flowboarding or a Nokia game. Now, I have seen a kind of mock-up or like this sort of thing, display not for sale with one of these in like a case. But uh, these ones weren't uh, retail games, they were kind of pack-in games when you bought the system. There's Two or three others of these, um, so I don't count those towards the like retail 55 number. My cat's being impatient. Now the Engage uses MMC cards, so there's like an RS MMC card here, That's, so you can add more storage to it. This is an RS one because it's like smaller. And this interesting thing here is not official, but uh, there was a version of Doom ported to, I suppose not specifically the N-Gage, but S60, the operating system on the N-Gage. So someone on eBay was selling the software, like the um, program or game, on these custom cards that he's made with the uh, label. He had Doom and a few others, so I just thought it was kind of interesting. So I've got a video of Doom running on the N-Gage as well. Going back to Civilization, I'm very happy to finally have that. And if you're interested in collecting for the N-Gage, most of the games are pretty cheap and easy to find. It's just a bunch of hard ones to find, like Civilization and these ones. But it, it's a good system with some fun games. So yeah, if you're interested, you should check it out. And uh, I think that'll be the end, so thanks for watching, and I'm very happy to have finally completed my collection of retail games. But that will be all for now, so we'll see you next time.